This is the Sabrent EC NVMe. So this is currently available from Amazon in the UK for about £43 and in the USA for about $50. It's a USB 3.1 enclosure for NVMe PCI Express M.2 SSDs. So let's get it out of the box and have a look. And I'll also show you how to set it up. So inside you get the enclosure itself, which comes in two parts, ready to put the drive straight into. A USB cable, which has a USB type C connector at one end and a USB type A at the other. It's also got a built in adapter, so you can have it as a USB type C to type C cable. You also get a set of screws and a handy screwdriver to screw them in with and there's a quick installation guide and warranty leaflet. Now there are a couple of things to note with this enclosure. Well first of all you don't get an actual drive with it but that does give you the option to choose whatever drive you want to use and the EC NVMe is compatible with 2230, 2242, 2260 and 2280 drives. Also, second thing to note, this drive is only going to work with NVMe PCI Express drives with an M key connector. So with mine, I'm going to be using a Rocket NVMe 256GB drive, also from Sabrent. It's a 2280 drive, PCI Express, and it has the M key connector, so all good with this one. So looking at the enclosure, it's made of aluminium and it's approximately 105 by 45 by 15 millimeters. It's quite heavy for the size and it certainly doesn't feel cheap. On the end, there's a USB-C connector and an activity LED. On the base are two rubber feet Incorporated into these are four screw holes to hold the drive together once you've put the NVMe M.2 drive inside. So let's do that now. Now this is really easy to put together. Simply take the base off. Once that's done, you can see inside here's the slot for the drive to go into and you can also see the various screw holes to take all the different sizes of drives. So then take your drive and looking at the connector you can see there's a little lug. Now this is going to stop you from putting it in the wrong way. So you need to match this up to the connector on the enclosure and gently push the drive in starting at roughly a 45 degree angle. Then take one of the supplied screws and with the supplied screwdriver, fix the drive flat into place. Once that's done, take the base piece of the enclosure and remove the clear tape from the sticky thermal pad. Line up the thermal pad with the drive leaving the gap at the top where the connector is and simply push it down into place. Then take four more of the supplied screws and again with the included screwdriver, secure it closed. So that's the physical part of the setup done. 
let's have a look at setting it up in Windows. So to start with, plug the drive into USB 3 port. You can usually tell these as they are the blue ones on most new cases and motherboards. Or you can use a USB-C port if your case or motherboard has one available. After plugging it in, you first need to go to Disk Management. You can get to this in Windows 10 by typing in Disk Management into the Cortana search and choosing Create and Format Hard Disk Partitions. When you open this up, if everything has gone OK, you will get a prompt to initialize the disk. Now for here, if you want to be able to see the drive in older Windows editions, you should choose MBR. And you should only really choose GPT if you're going to be working solely in Windows 10. So I'm going to choose MBR and I'm going to click OK. Then scroll down the list of drives and you'll find the new disk. Now it's not yet been partitioned or formatted, so select the unallocated space. Right click and choose simple volume. You can then decide how large to make this partition. Now I want the whole drive in one volume, so I select the maximum I can. Then you can select a drive letter. It's going to be assigned to it when using this PC. Now I'm going to choose S for Sabrent and click next and you'll be prompted to format the drive. Here you can give it a name. I'm going to name it what it is, Sabrent 256GB. Click to confirm and that's it. The drive will now be fully formatted so I can get on with putting whatever data I need on here. Well, overall, I think this is a great little enclosure. It's really high quality, and as I said before, it certainly doesn't feel cheap. The drive is just the right size to fit in your pocket, and being an NVMe storage, it's going to be a lot quicker than any USB key. So I'll leave links to both the Sabrent EC NVMe enclosure and the Sabrent Rocket NVMe drive in the description below so you can check them out for yourself. Don't forget to use our affiliate links, they're also going to be in the description below. They really do help to keep the channel going. So give this video a like if you liked it. Got loads more videos coming very soon and the best way not to miss any of those is to subscribe below. It doesn't cost a thing. So thanks for watching and I'll see you later.